From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Anna Cerullo. It's Dante Allen Night. We have another mic'd up segment coming your way. And I'm wondering if there's any way possible it could top <laughs> Jacob Toppins from last night. We also have another exclusive sit-down interview from Satellite Camp. Plus, our friend Jack Goose Gibbons is joining us to talk about all things basketball. That's coming up in just a little bit. But we're going to start with football because Kentucky officially has a new assistant coach. That's tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. Chris Collins is heading to Lexington. He joins the UK football program after spending the past four seasons with Georgia State. He was named the safeties coach for the Panthers in 2017, and Collins was named the recruiting coordinator in 2019. Now, he helped sign Georgia State's 2020 recruiting class, which had the highest average player ranking in program history. And keep in mind, Collins is replacing Steve Klinkscale, who left the UK program for a job with Michigan. Clink's recruiting was probably the biggest loss for the Cats, so to grab a guy with solid recruiting experience feels like a pretty good move, Anna. It Those. certainly does. This feels like a good replacement, and he's an up-and-comer. I think he was yeah. named like 35 best coaches under 35, so hopefully we'll get some good years out of him. And we're also going to have an extended sit-down interview with Coach Collins tomorrow on BBN Tonight. We're bringing you exclusive access to the Kentucky basketball camps, and today we've got Dante Allen mic'd up at yesterday's camp at Ryle High School. You're going to like this one. You know, man, you know, I'm hyped up, you know what I'm saying? I had to pull up. I had to, I had to make sure my coach is straight. High school coach. I can't make sure y'all good. I mean, I'm trying to help y'all out, trying to give you a little massage. Put a chance to win the game. Where's Key on that? Key on. What y'all doing over here? What y'all doing over here? Knockout. 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 I might have to pull up next. Gonna get you this out group right I leave, <laughs> No, bah. <laughs> All right. Oh, he got me. He got me. What's good? What's going on? What's going on? What y'all doing? Passing? You want some passing drills? You know. Just... What you into? I feel. Nah, I see it, man. Yeah, let's show him. Let's show him. All right, let's see. It. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Brennan. You gotta throw a little harder. You gotta show him what you <laughs> He had fun with it. Look at him, look at him. Who else we get? Get him, Bryce. Get him, Bryce. Get him out. Get him out. Oh! Oh, oh he's wilding. He just said. Why he barking at me like that? We can split up in like four, right? Four or five, yeah, something like that? Five, yeah. All right, it's going to be a layup lines on each end. So about five right here, five right there. All right. Hey, split them up. I got to see, I got to see like a 360 layup or something. Give me a 360 layup. Can you try it? Yeah, I'll try it. All right, better All right, go, go. Where you going? 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 <laughs> He's doing 360 layup. Give me to try. <laughs> Laid him. Keon, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> I need your help. <laughs> I'm back at the right time. I'm back at the right time. I was trying to hop in. That's crazy out of y'all. I can't hop in. That's my guy right. Levi, yay. Okay. Give me that. He ain't deserve that. Oh. <laughs> Levi. Thank you. Oh man, great stuff, and we'll have more with Dante later in the show. But right now, we have to bring in a different Mr. Kentucky basketball into the mix, Jack Goose Givens. Jack, were you ever mic'd up like that? Not like that, thank goodness. I don't know if I could have kept it as clean as he did, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the NBA playoffs, second round is about halfway set. Uh, Goose, the Kentucky-led Miami Heat were swept by the Bucks. Maxie and the Sixers able to close it out uh, with Joel Embiid. We'll get to Big Blue Nation's new favorite team, the Knicks, here in a second. But what are your thoughts on the rest of the first round? Is it starting to shake out? Well, the Bucks are really good. So mm -hmm. I'm not surprised they took the Heat out and took them out pretty quickly. Uh, the, the, the Knicks, I really thought, and I know we're going to talk about them in a minute, but I, I, I love the Hawks, man. But... 
I didn't expect that to happen. I think New Jersey's gonna, uh, excuse me, I'll say New Jersey, I'll say Brooklyn. <laughs> They're still the Nets. They're, back in my day, they were New Jersey, but Brooklyn is gonna come out of the East. I know everybody says, hey, they can't play defense, they can't defend anybody, but I've played this game a long time, and it's <laughs> always been the team with the most points at the end of the game is gonna win, and Brooklyn scores the points, baby. They really do. They sure do. All those weapons yeah. they have. It's crazy. Who needs defense when you got KD, <laughs> Kyrie? Now, the Knicks have so many Kentucky guys on their team, but they just never found their groove against the Hawks. Julius Randle didn't look like the guy we saw dominate teams this season. Goose, as you said, we know you have that soft spot for the Hawks, but it had to hurt a little to see the Kentucky Knicks eliminated so early, right? It, it really did. I mean, I wanted to see the Knicks do better, but that therein lies the difference between the regular season and the playoffs, because now a team can focus for a seven game series. They can focus on one guy and they can take that guy out of the game. That's what happened to Randall, unfortunately. Uh, he was great during the regular season. Their coach gets them to overachieve, but in the playoffs, man, you can focus in and you can take guys out of the game. Now, Devin Booker and the Suns could eliminate the Lakers tonight. Uh, Jack L.A. did not look good in Game 5 without Anthony Davis. Hopefully he can go tonight, but he's still dealing with that growing strain. It's, it's the late game on TNT. What do you think? Well, as much as I like, I like A.D., I'm so happy for Booker, man. i got to tell you, I love what he and the Phoenix Suns are doing. I would love to see them take the Lakers out. I'm not a Lakers fan. I like AD, obviously, but I am all in this for Booker and his Phoenix Suns. I'd love to see that happen. All right, Goose, don't go anywhere. We're going to talk a little bit more here in just a second. That's right. BBN Tonight will be back right after this.